I, mean, I love what Action Concept was doing. It was sort of like uh, my dream of a studio. A studio totally devoted to blowing cars up and doing action. It, it was, it's, a, it, it's a kid's dream. <laughs> But we're taking Action Concept's proven ability to do car-based action sequences and marrying that with a very strong character-based drama where it's character first, action second. Where it's 80% character, 20% action, but that 20% of action is really, really hot. It's, it's so incredible what they do, Action Concept, is my god, we saw cars that goes up in the air and then uh, this ton guy going beneath with another car. It's incredible. But in there, they've done thousands of stunts. So for them, what is jaw-droppingly amazing to me is like, oh yeah, it's nothing. You know, it's just a simple stunt. What will you do? Schön. Schön. I was not part of the action because Katie doesn't ever really she doesn't actually ever drive, she's the mechanic. And she, so I didn't have really any part in the action, but I saw a bunch of it on set, and it was amazing. Uh, amazing. They put a car through a wall. And it uh, flipped through the wall, it turned a couple of times, smashed on the floor, and there's people running everywhere. So that, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm okay, I can go on. What we're going to do in, uh, today is um, to shot that car from Wolf with our nitro nitrogen cannon uh, through the wall. Uh, in that wall we have uh, built in our ramp and um, you can see there that under the car is made a steelness bar that hits the ramp. The car is not hitting the ramp as, as normal. The bar under the car is hitting the ramp and guides the car into a backward flip rotation that the car is flying in, into that warehouse over there. No, we didn't know because no, we thought it was just going to go. It's all right for you. We know. But if it's going to go, that's great. That's what we are going to do uh, in the afternoon. I hope it will work. <laughs> These guys, watching them work, I've, I've never seen such an efficient, experienced stunt crew. They, they put themselves at risk every day. They're flipping cars and driving at high, high speeds through small corridors. And uh, on top of that, they're just amazing guys. You know, they're very nice people. It was also important to me that the action be seamlessly integrated into the drama. I didn't want it to look like there were two movies. My aufgabe bei der action was um, mich mit Roland Busch um, abzugleichen. Roland is a ja super intelligenter action regisseur, der jetzt nicht sein eigenes Filmchen dreht und ich muss es dann in meinen Film reinschneiden, sondern wir haben natürlich dafür gesorgt, dass das alles Hand in Hand geht, dass es zusammenpasst und dass es sehr gute Übergänge gibt, dass der Zuschauer später nicht mehr merkt, wo beginnt die Action, wo endet die Action. It's not like we have the second unit, the main unit and they're working separately. We're working as a team. We're, we're working side by side, often at the same location at the same time. So we may have the action unit over here at one end of a, of a location and around the corner have the stunt unit. So between shots we can be going back and forth and, and communicating with, uh, with one another. I want to ask you because mm -hmm. if you say hey that's too much for us, no, no. Uh, we want to believe that it's not fast track. This is, uh, the more it flies the more shocked it's going to be and if the car is trashed the better it is because he's stolen this hundred thousand dollar right. car. So if yes. we completely trash it, okay. it it's, it's great. Das heißt, Mike bricht jetzt durch das Tor da drüben rein, fährt auf die Rampe und äh, macht einen Sprung, indem er ein paar von diesen Laternen mit äh, Special Effect Effekten unterstützt, äh, mitreißt. Wird dann hier landen und wenn es äh, der Stunt erlaubt, wird der, wird der Kai, der den Wagen fährt, noch versuchen, den, das Fahrzeug rumzudrehen um 180 Grad, was uns nachher äh, einen besseren Ansatz gibt für äh, die Aktion des Schauspielers wieder reinzugehen. We had a 
huge, really violent fight scene. And they had a whole uh, choreographed fight scene that they had done, and uh, they brought us through the, the the positioning and broke it down for us at the very beginning. We watched it back and played back, and and then um, just learnt it move by move, and just drilled it and drilled it and drilled it until it was you know really and we didn't have to think because and also because when you're doing a fight and you can't think too much because then you're forgetting about acting as well which it can't just be a fight scene you know so. We had a really good time, it was just a lot of work the day that we were rehearsing it, and the next day when we shot it, we thought that we were going to have to go through it all the way, so we were like practicing in slow motion and stuff. But on the day, we ended up shooting it bit by bit, so it wasn't that bad, you know, it was, it was actually it was pretty simple. I think the fight scene will look really brutal and nasty, and you can see the two, you can see the differences in the two characters. My character, Wolf, you know, he, he uses a screwdriver, he tries to, he uses a wrench, he, he, he knees him in the balls, he headbutts him, he's a real dirty street fighter. Andrew's just fists, you know? But I think, so it's, you can, it's nice you can see that, that little kind of, the dynamics and, and who would do what.